Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make homemade spaghetti sauce. This one is a tried and true family favorite that I've been making for years. In fact, usually I make a double batch just so I can freeze half for those busy nights when I don't feel like cooking. We're gonna be using three different preserved tomato products today, crushed tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste. These will give you the best, most fresh tomato flavor because they were preserved immediately after picking. If you want to use whole tomatoes, I have a separate video for that. You'll just want to make sure that they're fresh, like from your own garden or from a farmer's market. Next, let's head on over to the stove and get started. Get two tablespoons of olive oil heating in a four to six quart pot over medium high heat. Give that a minute to heat up and then add in one white or yellow diced onion. We're gonna saute this for about five minutes until the onions start to get soft and translucent. Now I'm demonstrating just the plain spaghetti sauce because my family likes to eat spaghetti and meatballs so I don't need to add any ground beef to this. However, if you wanted to use ground beef, you'd add it in with your onions and cook it thoroughly and then drain off the excess grease. Next, I'm gonna add in five cloves of minced garlic. Let the garlic toast for about 60 to 90 seconds to really bring out the best garlic flavor. And then we'll pour in half a cup of chicken broth or you can use white or red wine. Add in 28 to 30 ounces of crushed tomato, 15 ounces of tomato sauce, which is just pureed tomatoes, and a six ounce can of tomato paste. And if you cut open both sides, an easy trick is that you can then use the other lid to push it right through. Makes it come out so much easier. Then we'll sprinkle in a tablespoon of sugar, which will help to counteract the acidity of the tomatoes. Or if you don't wanna use sugar, you can use the same amount, one tablespoon of really finely minced carrot. Next, you'll need one tablespoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then this last one is optional, but I also like to add in one tablespoon of fennel seeds. Fennel has this wonderful anise flavor. They use it in sausages, and so this adds a real meaty flavor to the sauce without actually using meat. Then we'll add in half a cup of fresh basil, or you can use about two tablespoons of dried. And the very last ingredient, a quarter cup of freshly chopped parsley or one tablespoon of dried. Then we just stir this all together and bring it to a simmer. Flavor is gonna develop as this sauce simmers. I recommend letting it simmer over a low heat for at least 30 minutes, or if you've got the time, this can go for up to two to four hours. With long simmering times, you wanna add a lid on to prevent evaporation. If you don't wanna babysit it on the stove top, you can also transfer it all into a slow cooker and let it simmer throughout the day while you're busy doing other things and running errands and then it'll be ready for dinner. Once your sauce is done simmering, you can either serve it up as is all chunky or use an immersion blender or a regular blender to blend until smooth. You can use this recipe for canning. You'll need to add the appropriate ratio of lemon juice or citric acid, or the easiest way to store it is to freeze it. I just put it into a plastic resealable freezer bag and then lay it flat to freeze. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.